The James Webb Telescope has been in orbit for six months now, carefully aligning its mirrors so it can start beaming down images of our spectacular galaxy. But space is a rather dangerous place, and meteorites are common, so what do you think would happen if the $10 billion James Webb Telescope were to be hit by flying space debris? Would the experiment just end? Well, we're gonna find out, as this actually just happened. Yes, the James Webb Telescope took a direct hit from a micrometeorite. Webb's telescope was launched to look back at the beginning of the universe to see what happened hundreds of millions of years after the Big Bang. But a larger than average micrometeorite just collided with one of the main mirrors of the telescope. The collision occurred between May 23rd and May 25th and was just recently reported to the public. Despite a marginally detectable effect on the data, NASA says the telescope is still performing at a level that surpasses all mission expectations despite the impact on one of its primary mirrors. But this is not the first time it's happened. Yes, this is actually the fifth time the telescope has been hit by a micrometeorite since being in space. Space is a chaotic and difficult to predict environment, and NASA says that impacts on the $10 billion telescope are expected. A NASA spokesperson said, We designed and built Webb with performance margin, optical, thermal, electrical, mechanical, to ensure it can perform its ambitious science mission even after many years in space. Scientists expect James Webb to replace the Hubble, which is now 32 years old. They hope it will see back 13.5 billion years to a moment within 100 to 200 million years of the Big Bang. But how exactly does it see back in time? The magic of this telescope is that it allows us to look back in time to when stars and planets were born after the Big Bang, since light takes such a long time to travel. The light from a star that may no longer even exist can still be seen as it has to travel millions of kilometers to reach the James Webb Space Telescope. Think of it as sending a picture of a flower to somebody in the mail. If the letter takes a week to arrive, the picture of the flower will still look perfect, but the actual flower will not look the same anymore. Webb's mission builds on and extends on the work of NASA's great observatories. Four incredible space observatories whose equipment spans the electromagnetic spectrum. Scientists were able to view the same astronomical objects in the visible, gamma ray, x-ray, and infrared spectra because of the four overlapping missions. At the size of a school bus, Hubble began the program in 1990 and will complement and cooperate with Webb with subsequent servicing. Hubble sees largely in the visible spectrum with some ultraviolet and near-infrared coverage. The Hubble Space Telescope, named after Edwin Hubble, an astronomer who discovered many of the phenomena it was built to study, has indeed been one of the most resourceful tools in modern cosmology, bringing phenomena such as the birth and death of a star, galactic evolution, and black holes from theory to reality. Webb is unique in that it can see deep into the near and mid infrared, and it's equipped to acquire photos and spectra of celestial objects. What difference does that make? Well, stars and planets in the early stages of their formation are obscured by dust that absorbs visible light. The infrared light emitted, on the other hand, sees through the dusty covering and exposes what's underneath. Scientists expect that this will allow them to see the very earliest stars in the cosmos, the development and collision of newborn galaxies, as well as the birth of stars and protoplanetary systems, potentially even those holding life's chemical ingredients. The renowned golden mirror of the telescope is made up of 18 separate hexagonal segments, each of which is regulated by seven actuators for accurate movement and focusing. To prepare James Webb for its science mission, they had to be deployed slowly and painstakingly over the last six months. The decision on what to look at initially with the telescope took more than five years to decide. NASA, the European Space Agency ESA, the Canadian Space Agency CSA, and the Space Telescope Scientific Institution, or STSCI in Baltimore, which houses Webb's science and mission operations, collaborated on this project. Webb has been undergoing a six-month preparation process until it can begin scientific work, calibrating its equipment to its space environment and aligning its mirrors as the largest and most sophisticated observatory ever launched into orbit. Generations of technological improvements and mission planning have culminated in the first photographs and data, a demonstration of Webb at full capacity, ready to begin its research mission and unravel the infrared cosmos. The sun shield is comprised of captain membrane layers, high performance plastic with a reflective metal coating. They work together to keep the primary reflector and equipment safe. For takeoff, the enormous sun shield folds up and opens gradually like butterflies' wings. 
The spacecraft bus is in the middle, and it houses all of Webb's support operations, such as electrical power, communications, data management, and temperature control. A high-gain antenna, as well as a pair of star monitors that combine with the precise navigation sensor to keep things pointing in the proper direction, decorate Webb's exterior. Finally, a momentum trim tab is located at one end of the sunshield, perpendicular to it, and compensates for the stress that photons put on the ship, just like a trim flap on a sailing ship. Webb's huge mirror is located above the sunshield. Webb features a 21.4 foot wide main mirror that analyzes the light from distant galaxies. It's made up of 18 hexagonal beryllium parts that expand after launch and then work together to form a massive main mirror. The whole framework of this mirror folds like a drop leaf table, making it significantly lighter. The hexagonal geometry of the mirrors enables an approximately circular framework with no gaps. NASA has announced that they will be releasing the next batch of photographs on the 12th of July, and the entire space industry and the world cannot wait to see what they hold. So what should we expect the Webb's images to look like? While thorough preparation for Webb's initial full-color photographs has been ongoing for quite some time, the new telescope's capabilities make it impossible to forecast what these first images will look like. Of course, there's things we're hoping to see, said STSCI's chief science visualizations developer, Joseph DePascal. But with a new telescope and this new high-resolution infrared data, we won't know until we see it. Early alignment images have already proven Webb's infrared views on rivaled clarity. These new photographs, on the other hand, will be the first to be in color showing off Webb's full scientific capabilities. It's taken a long time for the first full color photographs to appear. Early in February, Webb detected its first photons, and a week later, it observed its first star utilizing all 18 of its reflector segments. Webb completed the second and third phases of the seven total mirroring calibration phases later that month. NASA stated a few weeks later that Webb's optics were operating properly. The team reported in late April that the telescope had been entirely aligned, paving the way for the final round of planning and preparation before full scientific operations. The project has experienced several obstacles, and the cost has risen to about 10 billion, but we are now less than a month away from viewing the first full-color photographs from the space telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope is the world's most powerful and biggest space telescope. It will be the most complicated space telescope ever launched. The information it gathers throughout its mission, which is scheduled to last between 5 and 10 years, might revolutionize our knowledge of the cosmos. Why? Because it aims to investigate all aspects of our universe's history, including the Big Bang. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you consider joining us as a Velocity subscriber next time by hitting that button and bell icon too. Take care.